Outside though, it's cruising weather for sure. Cruising weather, yeah. smooth sailing. <laughs> so far, yeah, but we are gonna get some showers out here pretty soon. As you're looking outside in the mountains, look at those thick clouds. Those are pretty new here. We were looking nice for a while. Now things are starting to change and the showers are soon to follow. So warm again today, about seven, eight degrees above normal. As we head into the later part of the day, we get a couple of showers that last into Friday, but then those showers clear out by the weekend. So we've got some sunshine headed our way. Yesterday was 78 degrees. We'll be pretty close to that today. Our average and where we should be right now is 70 on the dot. So anything above that and uh, is this uh, abnormal for us at this point? We've been above it for a while. In fact, our temperature so far, when we take the overnight lows and the daytime highs, we put that all together, we figure out our average mean temperature and that's 66.5 right now. That's four degrees above average, making this our 10th warmest October to date. So we'll see what these warm temperatures do for us if we get uh, higher into the top 10 there. Here's a look at our forecast for today. I think this will help out. 77 degrees in the triad. Warm and breezy. We've got 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. So that's enough wind that you'll notice it today. In the foothills, we're at 76 degrees. And in the mountains, 68 degrees. We've got some sun here and there. Increasing cloud cover and then increasing shower chances, especially as we head further and further west. Here's a look at the tri triad 18 hour forecast. As we head into the overnight hours, we've got those showers into the afternoon. We're watching as those winds pick up in the foothills. The winds pick up in the afternoon as well. And then we've got the 20% chance for some showers here and there as we go through the afternoon. Again, it's really just nuisance weather. It's inconvenience rain. It's a, enough that if you are planning on spending a lot of time outside, you maybe need the umbrella or maybe you don't necessarily want to do a bonfire, but it's not so much that if you're planning on grilling out, you wouldn't be able to do that. So kind of in between those two issues there. Here's a look at the mountains. 20% chance for some showers right now. By the time we get into the evening, we're up to a 30% chance. It increases up to a 40% chance, and then we dry out as we head towards the morning. Now, here's a look at our 36 hour forecast so you can visualize this with me. As we're going through the next couple of hours, we watch as those showers pop in from time to time, especially into the evening hours. That's when we start to get some into the Piedmont, into the overnight hours as well. And then overnight, we continue to see some light showers. This actually probably is the best timing for some rain. Of course, we need the rain, and uh, at least it'll come in the overnight hours. We won't have to worry about it too much. Now, if you're an early morning commuter, you could have some rain on the road, especially at our North Carolina, Virginia border counties. But if you're a later commuter, you'll just have a couple clouds here and there and things will be looking pretty nice. Sunshine will be uh, scarce as we go through your Friday, but as we head into the later part of the day and then Saturday and Sunday, we're looking at a lot of sun. Here's a look at that seven day forecast. Mostly sunny skies through the weekend, 71 degrees on Saturday. So we're a touch above normal, but barely the closest to normal we've been in a while. And then Sunday, 75. We've got some cooler temperatures on the way. Tuesday and Wednesday, we're in the 60s, so if it's been a little too warm for your fall plans, we'll be cooling down soon. We have an update to breaking news. We've been following this hour. Law enforcement is investigating disturbances involving students at two different high schools. In Winston-Salem, a lockdown at Reynolds High School was lifted around 20 minutes ago. Deputies responded.